So basically everything we see here, you built or at least did something to. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my hands have touched everything in here. Bob Peterson has worked with his hands his entire life. So you grew up with, with pretty much tools in your hands. Yeah. And what, what did that mean to you? Well, it's it made me a good living. And I everything I do, I almost build myself. Growing his small family plumbing business into a company today with nearly 100 employees. I'm putting the interior in this car right now. Even in retirement, he sees the value of hard work. It is concerned that our country is losing skills that are needed to drive our economy. A lot of business guys that are finding it harder and harder to find skilled people. Yeah. you see a void out there for that? Well, absolutely. You cannot find enough real handy people. That is a common concern shared by many area companies looking for skilled workers, needing skilled workers to grow. So how is that possible for an area of the country built on hard work and manufacturing? Well, we went to the area's largest student career center to find out. The center on the campus of United Township trains students from nine area schools. The doors opened here in the 1960s when business was booming. We can see where they actually do the metal work and use the machines. Okay. Larry Shimming has been the director for nearly two decades. There was John Deere, there was Case, there was Caterpillar, there was Farmall, there was all these factories centered around East Moline. And in the early 80s, that changed with the downfall of the farm equipment industry. And as the jobs faded away, so did the hopes of families with legacies of skilled labor. The programs to train them at schools also started to fade away. But now some are rebuilding, retooling our kids. Now we see a resurgence of we want to bring those jobs back to the United States and we're looking for those skilled workers. So you're hearing from a lot of employers out there, potential employers that are saying, hey, train these kids, give us the next yes. another batch. Yes, yes we are. Offering new and renewed opportunities for families who can't or aren't interested in financing a four-year degree. And as we walk through here and think about the kids, these old pieces of equipment and the newer technology can make a big difference in their futures. Yes, it can. Um, a lot of the technical skills, they pay well. Um, they do not require a, a four-year college education. In most cases, they require some type of training and certification beyond high school. With 25 programs, the classrooms here are filling up again. This is one of our introductory pre-engineering classrooms. We have a nursing classroom down that hallway. With students like Logan, who hopes to be an underwater welder. So Logan's got the whole setup here. And it, yeah. What do you like most about welding? I think it's just a fun class. Like you learn a lot. There's so much you can learn, and you can always get better at the welding. There's always things, new kinds of welds. There's just so much stuff to learn. And when you think about your future and thinking of a career, why did this stand out to you? Well, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Like coming into high school, and then my sophomore year, I got into welding. And I just really liked it. I just don't want to get student loans and debt. I'd rather go to trade school and not spend as much money and probably make more money than some of my friends when they go to college because I'll be starting a job sooner than them. Some of the equipment used in the class next door was made by the welders. But the plastic parts made by students too, using the latest 3D printing. Why did you choose to try this out? Um, it's a lot more opportunity and it's a lot more hands-on. You get to experience what it would be like to be in an actual workplace rather than just sitting in a classroom and listening to a lecture. We get to design whatever we want and 3D print it. You can make projects at Deere to go weld. You can plasma cut things in the metal shop. So there's really a lot you can do. What got you interested to think maybe this is something I might want to look into for my future? Like Ellie said, it's hands-on. So if I don't like this, then I'm not going to want to go into the manufacturing industry. What got you interested in auto mechanics? I've done it since a little kid with my dad. And I just really like being hands-on on things and working around that stuff. I like getting dirty. I don't like the easy jobs. What is your dream? What's your hope that this will bring for you in your future? I'm hoping that I can get a good job and get a nice career going and just be able to live out my career and what I like to do. So guys, what did you find on your inspection so far? A UT grad himself, Jamie King, was recruited to come back and change the lives of kids right here at home. I've had a lot of students that's told me that they would have dropped out if it wasn't for these programs. And it's not just mine, it's auto body, welding, 
could even be childcare, but the they don't want to go to a four-year college. There's so many different alternatives other than going to four years. I know several people my age that still don't have jobs because they've gotten their four-year degree and still don't have work in their field that they've studied in. It's really rewarding having them come back and saying that I've changed their life. Ready? In outside the classroom, Bob Peterson is changing lives too. Passing on his love of racing not only to his son and grandson, but to the next generation of his employees by pulling his carts out of retirement. And why do you think it's important to bring it back here? There's things you learn about go-karts and racing and mechanics that you'll use your whole life. Caleb is ready for race day. I haven't dri driven one yet. What do you think it's going to feel like? A little bit bumpy, probably. His grandfather, a racer too, works for Peterson Plumbing. We've worked on it a little bit. Generations working together for race day and beyond. I'm excited about race day. Yeah, why? Because I've always wanted to drive a go-kart.